Hi friends, it's Hazel's mom. Today we are taking out our brand new airplane on an adventure to see what we can discover. Would you like to join me? Yeah, let's go. flying in airplanes. There is so much to discover from up in the sky. I have a great idea. Let's visit all of the continents and see what kind of amazing animals we can discover. Oh, that sounds like fun. Look. There are seven continents that we're going to visit today. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's start with North America first. Here we go. That was a good landing. Hey, it's a moose. I love moose. They are gigantic. Oh, wow. A male or boy moose can weigh over 1,300 pounds. That's 1,300 pounds pounds. That is a big moose. And male moose or boy moose are the only ones that grow antlers. Those antlers can grow over five feet wide and weigh over 65 pounds. <sighs> That's a lot of weight to carry on the old noggin. And this guy is a grizzly bear. He might look cute and fuzzy, but you don't want to get too close. Those claws can grow up to four inches long. That's longer than my finger. Oh, you don't want any part of that. And when grizzly bears stand up on their hind legs, they can be eight feet tall. Oh, we better go get back in the airplane. Yeah, come on. All right, now that we made it safely back into our plane, where should we go next? I know, let's head south to South America. So one of my favorite, favorite, favorite animals in the whole world is found in South America. It's a bird and its name is a blue-footed booby. Blue-footed boobies have giant blue feet. Just look at those things. <laughs> Another really cool fact about these magnificent birds is that when they dive for food in the ocean, they turn into like feather covered missiles. They can hit the water at 60 miles an hour. That's like driving a car down the freeway. That is so fast. <laughs> and although you can find these stunning birds along the coast of South America, their most famous home is the Galapagos Islands. Look at this sweet girl. Also found in South America are sloths. The three-toed sloth is the slowest mammal on earth. They move really slowly. Even though 
although they move really slow on land, they're actually pretty fast swimmers. And sloths are arboreal. Ooh, that's an interesting word. That just means they spend most of their lives up in trees. <laughs> I love sloths. Up next, we're gonna fly all the way to the bottom of the Earth and visit Antarctica. Ooh, it's gonna be chilly, so we're gonna need to bundle up. Ooh. Ooh. It is cold in Antarctica. Antarctica is at the very bottom of the Earth. Ooh, and so it doesn't get a lot of warmth from the sun. Whew. Antarctica is also really windy and it's home to some of the driest places on Earth. Whew. The most famous animal that we find in Antarctica is the emperor penguin. Look how cute that penguin is. Oh, emperor penguins can grow up to four feet tall. That's almost up to my shoulders. Whoa, that's a big penguin. Oh, it's cold here, friends. Let's get back to the airplane. Antarctica is so cold. Let's head north to a warmer continent. Africa. Whoa, it is so much warmer here in Africa. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <gasps> Elephants. Elephants are the largest land mammal. And these big guys spend 12 to 18 hours hours a day eating food. That's a long time for lunch, isn't it? Elephants are also vegetarian, which means they only eat grass, plants, and fruit. And you see those big long noses? Those are trunks, and they can use those trunks to help them eat and drink water. How cool is that? So like elephants, giraffes are also vegetarian. They only eat plants. And while an elephant might be the largest land mammal, giraffes are surely the tallest. An adult giraffe can be over 20 feet tall. Wow. And a baby giraffe or a calf is six feet tall when it's born. I'm not even six feet tall. That's a really tall animal, isn't it? Wow. All right, friends, we're back in the plane and we're gonna keep heading north all the way up to Europe. All right, friends, so here's an animal that you might see a lot around Christmas time. That is a reindeer. So although reindeer are most famous for pulling Santa's sleigh, Reindeer can actually walk up to 3,000 miles in a year. Wow, that's like walking from California all the way to Maine. Oh, that's gonna take a while, isn't it? Another really cool thing about reindeer, other than pulling Santa's sleigh, is that unlike most deer, both the male and female, or boy and girl reindeer, grow antlers. Hey, that's pretty cool. Back 
back in the plane and we're gonna fly. Let's fly east to the continent of Asia. So the most famous animal that you find on the continent of Asia is the panda. Look how cute she is. <laughs> so like some of the other animals we've talked about today, a panda can spend up to 12 hours eating every day. <sighs> That's a lot of food. But this bear, unlike some other bears, like our friend the grizzly, pandas don't hibernate in the winter. When temperatures start to drop, they move down the mountains where they live until they find a warmer place to stay. Then in the springtime, when the temperatures start to rise, they climb back up the mountain. That's pretty interesting. Okay, friends, we're heading to our last continent, Australia. <sighs> Whew. It is hot in Australia. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, look, it's a kangaroo. Whoa. <laughs> Although these guys might look really warm and cuddly, kangaroos have really powerful back legs, so they can be dangerous. You don't want to get too close. There are actually four species of kangaroo, but the red kangaroo is the largest marsupial in the world. A marsupial is a type of animal that grows its baby in a pouch. Yeah, so mommies have a pouch on their belly that their babies grow in. It's like having a big pocket. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Another really interesting thing about kangaroos, you see that big, long, muscular tail on the back? that tail prevents them from being able to move backwards. Huh, that's interesting. That is one cute koala. <laughs> Although a lot of people refer to koalas as koala bears, koalas aren't bears at all. No, they have pouches, which makes them a marsupial, just like our friend, the kangaroo. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and unlike some of our other friends we've learned about today, who spend hours and hours and hours eating, koalas spend most of their time sleeping. Yeah, koalas can sleep up to 18 hours a day. Oh, that is a really long nap, isn't it? Huh. Another interesting thing about koalas is that they only eat eucalyptus leaves. And although it's not interesting that they only eat leaves, it is interesting because eucalyptus leaves are really poisonous. Oh. That doesn't sound tasty at all, does it? But these furry little guys love them, and that is interesting. All right, friends, we're back in the airplane. Thank you so much for going on this adventure with us today. We had so much fun, didn't we? Yeah, we visited all seven continents and learned about some really cool animals. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to continue exploring, click the big red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up 
and we'll see you next time. Bye!